Welcome to the Lady Landlords Podcast, where we empower women to gain financial independence through real estate investing. I'm your host, Becky Nova, founder of Lady Landlords. If you're ready to buy, manage, and grow your real estate portfolio, then let's get started. Welcome back to this week's episode of the Lady Landlords. Today, we're going to be talking all about confidence and confidence boosting. But if we have not met, hi, my name is Becky Nova. I am the founder of Lady Landlords. I'm actually recording this episode down in the Dominican Republic. I am still here for another couple months, um, and I am happy to be bringing you ladies this topic today. This One of the reasons I want to talk about this topic is because I keep hearing from so many women out there about how they're either scared to get involved, they are worried that they're going to make the wrong mistake, that they don't want to lose that time, that money all of those things. But what I think is so interesting is when I talk to women within real estate, what I love is that they have the education. They go out, they listen to podcasts like the Lady Landlords podcast. They listen to others out there. They read books, they talk to other people and they really connect. But there's still that piece that makes us feel that we are not worthy of success within real estate investing that we are not confident, that we get trapped in that fear, um, that analysis paralysis that I see so many other investors go through. And I personally am on a mission to make sure that 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 changes. I want you to be able to go out there and feel confident in the decisions that you're making and making yourself be able to, at the end of the day, after you put an offer in and you finally identify that property you want, I want you to be able to lay your head down on that pillow And go to bed and feel confident knowing that you did everything that you needed to and that you can rest comfortably, that you made the right decision for you, for your portfolio, for your family, all of those things. So here are a quick quick couple tips on what you can do to start to increase your confidence, not just in real estate investing, but really the tips I'm going to share with you today are going to be able to help you no matter what it is that you're working or looking to improve upon in your life. The first place I want us all to start is to simply be kind to ourselves. This is something new. We didn't go to school for real estate investing. Please, most schools don't even teach anything about financial literacy, about financial health. Now, all of a sudden, we're not only taking that on, but we're trying to figure out how we're going to make money, how we're going to grow these portfolios. And with real estate, we're talking large numbers. We're talking quite a bit of money here. So the first place I want us to start is really just by understanding that this is new for us, that we are learning a new skill, and that really we need to be kind to ourselves and give us the space and the availability to learn something new, step by step, okay? Another great place to start is then to actually think back at other things that you have been successful at. I want you to make a list of those. Just take a few minutes, grab a piece of paper, pen, grab your iPhone, and just write down some other things that you have been able to accomplish that really you're proud of. This might be something as simple as a school that you'd went to or a degree that you received, becoming a mom and growing your family, being able to advance within a career that you're in. All of those things are something that you had to learn, that you had to sort out, that you had to figure out. And those things are really important. So when you're able to look back at previous successes and really think about the fact that like you've come so far and that you've accomplished so much, it's going to make your goals within real estate investing just honestly a lot less scary. Then the third tip that I have for you is within real estate investing itself. You can still apply this to other places, but really I hear all the time people have these very lofty goals when it comes to real estate investing. The idea of thinking so far ahead in the future that they want to be able to quit their jobs and they want to be able to make a million dollars and have, you know, another million dollars in the bank, all those things. Those can be very daunting tasks. And it could seem like we're not moving as fast as we want or as quick as we want, um, or really not accomplishing what we want within real estate investing. And that can get really discouraging. So I'm going to encourage you to take your real estate investing goals and really break those down into sizable chunks. It's important with anything that we're trying to add to our lives as a routine, as something that we want to make a habit, we want to make it where these are things that we actually, one, can accomplish, 
but two, that we're really able just to take it day by day as our way through it. Real estate investing is absolutely no different. Today, we need to be laying the building blocks of what we would like to have built tomorrow. So every day, it's just taking another step, another foot in front of the other one to really add up to something amazing like financial freedom. So after you made your list of successes, take another piece of paper, flip that one over, and really write down your goals. But not just think about your goals of, okay, great, I want to make $10,000 a month in passive income. Great, that's a great goal. But every day you wake up and you don't have that 10K hitting your bank, you're probably going to be upset about it. And that's going to start to wear away from your self-worth and your confidence. So instead, take that goal and break down what that looks like. When do we want to hit those 10K months? Great, in five years. So how do we grow that? Every year we need to make two grand more within real estate investing. So two grand this year, divide that up by 12, right? Then what do we need to do to make that couple extra hundred dollars a month? When we look at it in those sizable chunks, we really then end up with our action steps. And those should be broken down day by day of what needs to be done. When we have those day-by-day -day actions, we can feel a greater sense of accomplishment, and we know that we are continuously moving that needle forward. That's going to make us feel much better, feel much more accomplished, and really start to increase our confidence along this entire beautiful journey that real estate investing truly should be. So as a recap, my three tips for you are to be kind, write out your past successes, and three, create sizable, actionable daily steps to take. Hope this helps. Thanks so much for listening to today's episode of the Lady Lenlets podcast. Do make sure to subscribe so you do not miss our next episode of the Lady Landlords podcast. We release new episodes every single Tuesday, and I will see you all next week. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you're feeling stuck in your real estate journey, visit lady-landlords.com to book a one-on-one -on -one workshop with me. I'll help you determine your next best strategy. Or you could subscribe to our newsletter for exclusive tips and offers. Invest with confidence, become a lady landlord today.